We do it every Wednesday here on Local12.com. Talk a little FC Cincinnati football. Joined by the goalie, Mitch Hildebrandt. First of all, thanks for stopping by. Before we talk about last night's game or looking forward to Saturday, I want to talk about that match with Crystal Palace. I had a chance to be there, and it was magical. Was it everything you were hoping it would be? I think it was more. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, even the, you know, when they were doing the introductions, you looked at uh, Alan Pardew, who's you know, yeah. coaching the FA Cup final, and all these players that have played in the World Cup. And, um, you know, they'd say our first name and then our last name, which they normally do, and the crowd would say our last names. And, and everybody was kind of looking around. They, they hadn't seen anything like it. And for them to come to, um, to the U.S. and see that was something very, very special. And you lost that game 2-0, but what do you guys learn about yourselves uh, against a team from the Premier League? And I have to think that for you was something you'd always dreamed about doing, to see where you stacked up against guys that play at that level. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, it'd be like... Uh, you know, a Pop Warner kid watching the NFL, you know, and then you, you play them. Um, you know, those guys are at the top of their craft. And, and to, to go up against them and to, to show everybody that we're not that far behind. You know, we're, we played through them. We had our chances. Yeah, we lost 2-0, but um, it took very, two very special goals by them to, to beat us. And, um, you know, we're, we're right there. So, you know, I feel good. The season had been so special for you guys uh, last night racking up the USL attendance record over 158,000 people did yeah. you anticipate that and and what does that crowd give to you when you're at Nipper Stadium oh it, it gives us a huge boost yeah. I mean uh, the special thing about our fans is that they're behind us 100 yeah. percent I mean you talk about the Crystal Palace game and um, you know I've, I've played on another team and and you know other teams have friendlies against those teams and a lot of people come out to see those teams but here you know we had 35,000 and I would yeah. say probably 34,000 of them were, were our fans, were Cincinnati fans. And, um, you know, it gives us a huge boost to know that we have that backing. And, you know, we, we come down, walk around the streets, and we see people in FC gear and gets us fired up for the weekend. And it really does. And, um, you know, it makes us want to um, fight for them. And you'll do that again this Saturday, uh, another home game against Louisville City, a team that is in first place in the Eastern Conference. Important stretch for you guys. Obviously, the friendly took a lot of emotional and physical toll on your team, uh, the, the loss last night, but this is a big game for you guys at home. Yeah, it's massive. I mean, you know, the, the Derby feel of it, you know, they're only an hour and a half down the yeah. road and, um, you know, two good games already with them. So, uh, you know, we just need to keep concentrating on ourselves and, and come out and get a good result because, you know, I, I think that, you know, we're right there and we're just continuing to get better. And um, this is another opportunity for us to do that. It is going to be a whiteout at Nippert Stadium. Also, I love those T-shirts. Mitch says no. You have to have a, <laughs> you, have to, you know, have a, a great kick out of that. Yeah, absolutely. I love it. You know, the fans are, are behind us and, um, you know, uh, the team, the team likes it as well, and, and they can make kind of, kind of a little bit of stick for it. But you know, I like it. I like being out there. So. Yeah. You know, uh, we did a story on Local 12 a while back. You and your wife Amber met at college uh, yeah. in Detroit, and you guys were separated for a long, long time. She is now an assistant coach volleyball at Xavier. Just talk about what that's been like over the last four or five years of your relationship being in different cities, and now finally coming together here in Cincy. Yeah, I think uh, she would say that it's more difficult for her than me because she's got to deal with my. Uh, my little quirks and, and everything. She just had to kind of hear about them um, over the phone. But no, I think it's good for, for a personal aspect because, um, you know, you get to come home and, and be with family. You know, you had a bad training session or, or whatever it may be, and you go home, you just dwell on it. You think about it. But here, you know, you have somebody to talk to and you have somebody to kind of, you know, have you take it away from the game, which is, which is something that you, you need sometimes. And, um, and ultimately, I think that this year I've made a big jump and having her here um, has made me a better player. Well, not only that, she knows athletics. She's a yeah. coach. She's a player. It, oh. It's different to have a, a spouse or a friend there that, that can talk about it, but she knows the games, the emotions, what you're going through. Yeah, she does. I mean, you know, when I have, uh, you know, when I have a bit of a, a go um, at myself, she understands it. And, um, you know, the funny thing is, is that, you know, in the story, we told a little story about preseason and, um, you know, she kind of watches video with me and she'll, she'll critique what I'm doing, you know, movements and, and things like that. And, um, you know, it's, it's cool to have those extra eyes and, and she, she gets it. And I think the funny thing and the good thing about my wife is that she really um, handles it differently. Like she'll make poke fun at me 
but know that it's just to to get me out of my right. own head and it's and it's you know worked out really really well for me i'm curious you know you're a goalie you're back there the game's in front of you uh is are there times when you're distracted a little bit thinking about something else when that when the play's on the other end of the pitch or do you have to be completely locked in 100 percent of the time uh at this level i got to be locked in 100 yeah. percent of the time i mean the first uh first home game um i caught myself kind of wandering and i'm <laughs> like you know wow i can't believe i'm i'm in the stadium you know wow we're in cincinnati but um, you know, when I was a little kid, you know, the ball would be on the other side. I'd be singing songs to myself. I thought I was a really good singer, by the way. Um, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> so don't ask me to sing. Um, but no, I mean, here, I think there's a lot of things that you can do when the ball's on the other side because, you know, organization's a big part of the game. So if I can organize the defense and um, make sure that we're in the right spots, you know, when we don't have the ball, that makes our job a lot easier uh, when we're defending. And uh, yeah, it's just a lot of things that you can do beforehand to kind of, you know, the chess game starts, yeah. if, if you will. How, how much communication is going on uh, that maybe the average fan or the fan new to soccer doesn't know about on the pitch? A lot, yeah. a lot. I mean, it's, uh, you know, at our stadium, <laughs> at our stadium, you can't hear, yeah. you know, so that's the, the difficult part. Um, I mean, it's a, it's a really good part, but it's a difficult part because, you know, I could be yelling at, at Austin and Harry and these guys at the top of the 18 yard box and they still can't hear me. Yeah. But then we go to other places in our league where I could yell to, to Ugo, you know, 100 yards yeah. away and he's hearing me. So um, I, I lose my voice because I'm yelling so yeah. loud, but I know that these guys can't hear me at home. So, but I think that just kind of helps me stay in the game and, you know, they'll hear bits and pieces and, um, but, you know, our team is so good and, you yeah. know, Austin and Harry and, and Paul and, you know, our whole back line, they've played at a high enough level that they know where to be. It's yeah. just kind of, you know, um, the communication parts to kind of just make sure that we're all together. And, um, but, you know, I think it, we're growing as a back line. We're growing as, as a defensive unit. And, um, you know, we're still growing, which is the, the, the exciting part. And, you know, it's, uh, it's going to be really fun to, to continue the season with these guys. Well, best of luck Saturday against Louisville City. Mitchell Brent, as always, a pleasure. Thanks for coming. It was a pleasure. Thanks all so right. much. Take care. All right.